Hey guys, Joey Champs, Eat in the City, back in the saddle, baby. I told you guys I was going to show you some of my favorite coffee places. Well, welcome to my new favorite coffee place, Cafeteria Soho. It's the first cafe in all of Manhattan to serve the coveted blue bottle coffee bean. But listen, no matter how good your beans are, your coffee is only as good as the person making it. And these guys know how to make a serious cup of coffee. Let's go inside and take a look. I've always been a huge fan of owner-operated businesses because the owner has to stand behind the product, literally, no pun intended. And Cafeteria Soho is a great example of this. On any given day, one of the two owners will be there on the premises making your coffee for you. And believe me, these guys know their coffee. They're so serious about it, they had a custom-built La Marzocco coffee machine designed to their exacting specifications. But more than that, the craftsmanship with which they grind the beans, tamp them down, and time and pull each and every shot is remarkable. And at the end of the day, you can taste the difference. So obviously you can get the usual suspects at Cafeteria So You can get a great single espresso, double espresso, cappuccino, latte, but there's a couple of off-menu items that I want to highlight that I think really make this place stand apart from the crowd. And the first one is called the Gibraltar. I've got that little baby right here, and it's really just a miniature latte, but there's a couple of reasons why this particular item stands out for me. You can't get these everywhere, and there's a simple reason why. Not everyone knows how to steam milk to perfection, as they do here. You need the milk to be just the right temperature. If it's too hot, it scalds the espresso and ruins the drink. But you also need those perfect small bubbles that release the natural sugars in the milk and allow the espresso to sort of suspend for a moment evenly throughout the entire drink. scientist's lab. In fact, these are the only two cold water brewers like this in all of Manhattan. They were imported from Japan, and it takes 18 hours to brew one pot of this bad boy called the Kyoto. It's like no coffee I've ever had in my life. Now, when they told me it took 18 hours to make, I was like, yeah, that's, uh, that's a little crazy. Then I tried the coffee. It's more like bourbon or scotch than coffee. The cold water actually extracts every iota, every last bit of flavor from the beans and produces a rich, full-bodied coffee that's absolutely exceptional. It's my new addiction. All right, guys, that's Cafeteria Soho, my new favorite coffee place in the city. This is the place to be if you want to find out what makes great coffee great or you just want to kill a couple of minutes and have a nice cup of coffee. I'm Joey Jams, and that's it for this edition of Eat in the City. I'm off to Eat in the City.